And this is, you have two coatings. This is. Right. So we have, this is the hydro, which is the most hydrophobic coating. And then we have the, the diamond shine coating, which is destined to be uh, even, so it's glossier than this one, if that's at all possible, but it is just a, a slight tick and gloss better. And the self-cleaning ability of that one is even better than this one. So let me ask the obvious. Why two? Why couldn't you just put both aspects in one coating? It's a combination of the, the way they're made. So they're both react, yeah, down to, the, down to there. They both use reactive blending. And by reactive blending, I could actually give you all the ingredients pre-measured out to make the coating, and you still wouldn't have the same product. And coating is always a trade-off. If you want more gloss, you lose a little bit, you actually lose a little bit on hydrophobics. Uh, if you want the best in hydrophobics, you lose a little bit on the self-cleaning and gloss ability. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have both. It's up to the customer to decide what they want in terms of what's the characteristic that is most interesting to me. And I redid the shark fin a second time just to make sure I got all aspects of it. So the next question everybody yeah. asks, Yeah. can you layer it? You can, you shouldn't. There's no need to layer it. So the whole goal of this is as an entrepreneur, you want to be able to give the customer back their vehicle as soon as possible. So it's not taking up space in your shop and you don't have the liability of having a you know, $150,000 car sitting in your shop or a $500,000 car or whatever. The customer also, they want their car back as soon as they can get it. So yes, you can layer it, if you want to, you have to wait at least two hours, but no longer than eight hours. How many lifetime coatings do you want to put on? Yeah, exactly. You don't need to. Uh, in testing, we've done layering, and the gains are so minimal that it's not worth the effort of doing it.